Hi friends, this is Chitra. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the Nifty and Bank Nifty levels for 10th July. That is for Monday. Okay. So we can see what happened on Friday. That is on 7th. So here this is the resistance. This is the high made by Nifty. So once you go here and if you put the horizontal ray above this level, we got that high. All time high of Nifty is 19,512. Okay. So that will act as the major resistance for Nifty for the next day. Okay. So immediately once the price touched the particular zone, that is a particular resistance zone, 19,507, we got the rejection from that particular level. Okay. So we can convert this into 15 minutes time frame chart. Okay. So Nifty opened on 7th July, then the opening price of Nifty is 19,443. After that, Nifty made a high of 19,522. So what happened? Nifty tried to break the particular resistance zone. Immediately, you no, know, we got the rejection from that particular level. This red candle, that's a 10 o'clock candle, is a strong rejection candle from that particular zone. And after that, we can see that there is a fall from this particular level and Nifty made a low of 19,303 okay these are the key zones for nifty okay so the low of this green candle i have marked it as 19,419 after that the resistance is 19,511 why 19,511 because on 6th July also we got the rejection from that particular zone. So that is the major resistance for Nifty. And also on 7th July once the price touched that particular zone we got the rejection from there. So this red candle gave the confirmation for selling. Okay. And if we, are, uh, if we do a selling from here what will be the next target? Here this zone, this, this particular level that is 9467. Why this is a major level? Because here we can see that Nifty is trying to touched multiple times and trying to break this zone. So this is the next support for Nifty. If Nifty is breaking this 19,511, so 19,467 is the next support. So after that, Nifty support will be the low of the 7th July candle that is the 19,419. Also, we can see that this particular zone Nifty is respecting so many times that is on 4th July also we got the that is a high made by Nifty is that particular zone also on 6th July so we can take this level that is 19,419 once the price is breaking down that is we are getting any breakdown below this particular zone then what will be the next zone that is 19,374 okay. So after that the next support will be 19,314 so those levels which marked in green are the major zones for nifty okay that is 19467 19419 19374 and 19314 nifty is more weak below 19314 okay so after that the next support will be 19243 so if nifty is breaking 19243 we can see that there is a gap between this particular zone so we can see that there is a gap fill happen if the nifty is trying to break 90243 so what will be the next support that is 90200 these are these are the downside downside levels of nifty so we can see the upside levels that is if nifty is breaking above that is breakout above 90511 the next resistance is 90584 and 90658 so those who are doing intraday trading can note note down these levels Coming to the OA perspective, this is for Nifty 13th July expiry. Okay, so call side ma maximum OA is at 19,400. So 19,400 will act as the major resistance for Nifty. Put side OA maximum we can see that that is at 19,300. So 19,300 is a major support for Nifty. We can see the bank Nifty levels for 10th July. The time frame I have selected is daily time frame. So when we look into the daily time frame, we will get the bigger picture. After that, we can look into the 15 minutes time frame for intraday trading. So here we can see that this is on 4th July. We got the long leg doji. So what does this doji can indicate? Doji can indicate that there is an indecision because buyers and sellers both are trying to push the price up and down. Okay. So both are strong here. And price closed in between. So the high of this candle is 45,655. 
low is 45,000. So, low of this doji candle is 45,000. Okay. The next day, that is on 5th July, price closed inside this doji candle. Means, price didn't break the high and price didn't break the low of this doji candle. Okay. And also, the 6th July also, the, we got the green candle, but the high of the 5th July candle is not taken away. Means, not broken. That is the major resistance. So, we can put a horizontal ray above that particular level. What will be the next resistances above this doji candle? Okay. I have put the horizontal ray above the high of this uh, doji candle. We can put the horizontal line below the low of this doji candle. Okay. We can see an inside bar pattern formed on 5th July and also on 6th July. Why? Because the high and the low of this candle is not taken away. So, we can see inside this doji candle, two candles are formed. So, when the low of this uh, doji candle is broken, that is, uh, we are getting any breakdown below this. It is very, very powerful. Also, breakout also very, very powerful. On 7th July, we got the breakdown below this. So, we can enter into the short trade. Okay. Next, we can con convert this into 15 minutes time frame. So, we can see here on 10.45 candle, that is in 15 minutes time from 10.45 candle gave a breakdown below this uh, uh, candle, below the doji candle breakdown we got and we can enter into the short trade. The low made by Bank Nifty is 44,845. We can put a horizontal ray below the low of this candle. Okay. So, if you are getting any breakdown below 44,850, we can see that Bank Nifty is touching this particular zone that is 44,771. This level. That gap can be filled. Here there is a gap, right? So, this gap will get filled. If Bank Nifty is breaking 44,850, we can see that the Bank Nifty is touching 44,779. These are the key zones for Bank Nifty for intraday traders. The levels which marked in green are the major zones, that is the key zones. The levels which marked in red are the minor zones. Alright, so 45,419 is the major resistance for Bank Nifty. Also 45,274, these are the upside levels. Bank Nifty's low is 44,844. So Bank Nifty is more weak if, if it is breaking 44,850. So, as I told you in the daily time frame and also in the 15 minutes time frame, if Bank Nifty is breaking 44,850, we can see the fall till 44,762. Here I have marked that level in the red. Okay. What are the major resistance zone? If Bank Nifty is taking support from 44,850, we can see the price is touching 45,009, that is 45,000. After that, 45,120, 45,274. So, these are the resistance zones above. If Bank Nifty is breaking 44,850, we can see that Bank Nifty is touching 44,762. And the next zone is 44,494. After that, 44,230. So, these are the support zones. So, above are the resistance zone. So, you can make use of these levels if you are doing intraday trading. Coming to the OA perspective, this is Bank Nifty, 13th July expiry. We can see that the maximum call side OA is at 45,000. So, 45,000 will act as the major resistance for Bank Nifty. And the support is 44,700. On the put side, maximum OA is at 44,700.